Here we go. That's really upbeat music. <laughs> Welcome, my friends, to the first episode of Exponential Files. Is that something I composed? Where you can get a front row seat behind the velvet rope of expanding your real estate exponentially. I'm Larry Laufer, and I'm here with author, broker, CEO, Jim Lowenstern of EXP Realty, the Castles Unlimited team. We want to give you the opportunity to fully understand the values and opportunities that eXp offers to its shareholders each and every day. eXp is considered, like Amazon, Netflix, and Airbnb, in that they have revolutionized the real estate industry. Jim, you just uh, are just finishing up your second book on this very topic. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, sure. Uh, the title of the book is Your Million Dollar Month in Real Estate. Uh, my first book was Your Million Dollar Year in Real Estate. I always figured the next book would be Your Billion Dollar Year in Real Estate. But as it turns out, after being with um, EXP for three or four months, I started uh, meeting people that were making over a million dollars a month passively with the EXP, um, let's say platform, their business model. And uh, it's, it sort of energized me to sit down and start writing the tale. Well, you have owned your own brokerage for 35 years. So you don't leave that without really having very compelling reasons to do that. And when you did, you took your whole team with you. How has that process been for you? Well, a lot of this has to do with semantics. So when you say um, you've had your own business and now you've left it and you've gone to, none of that really is true. And that's one of the reasons why I made this move. So once upon a time, uh, I was a franchisor of Castles Unlimited. Then I became a franchisee of another brand um, who doesn't want me to ever mention their name again. Um, and that's fine. But that's and, okay. Uh, so that's okay. Because nobody else is mentioning them either. <laughs> <laughs> so years later, after being independent, after being the franchisee, um, my business uh, was scaling to a point where I really envisioned myself just uh, croaking at my desk one day, uh, just trying to keep up. Uh, the EXP business model was brought to my attention back when their stock was 19 cents a share. Uh, Glenn Sanford, uh, the chairman, the founder, the current co-CEO uh, was on the call, uh, was a go-to-meeting call. Uh, he took us for a little tour through the EXP metaverse. Um, they only had 300 agents. And I had just got out of a, um, a torturous um, franchise agreement that actually ended up in uh, all the parties suing each other. And it, it was just uh, like the worst year of my life. So to get involved with another company, uh, another brand, when I had just got my independence back, uh, didn't make any sense. And there was nothing really driving uh, the need. I, I looked at their business model and it didn't, it didn't make sense, it didn't add up. What has happened recently is their growth has just, it, it's it's been what do they call it a hockey stick, right? Yeah, it's yeah. just straight up. Um, well, and, the curve uh, the curve goes straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it looks like they're going to do a double this year. They just hired uh, an ex uh, KW CEO that was involved in uh, KW's uh, meteoric uh, rise uh, back in I don't know around late 90s, early 2000s. Um, 
And uh, honestly, um, I just kept meeting the right people that better listings, better agents, better, I guess, better vision of their future in the business. So the timing's right now. I mean, for my agents, they're going to make more money in the next two or three years if they pay attention to the business model that EXP offers that no one else offers. They're going to, well, they're going to do really well. I'm not the only agent who has been at more than one agency. Agents are often looking for the best deal possible. Quite often that has to do with a, uh, a different split um, or uh, 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 referral money, um, uh, residual money. Um, Keller Williams started that with their uh, revenue, uh, uh, with their profit, profit share. yeah, profit sharing. And uh, I was a KW agent. Uh, they're a good agency, but the, the profit share is a way for them to hide what is actually should be coming to their agents because of the individual uh, agency isn't profiting and that those numbers can be, can be massaged. Then well, you're not getting I'm, any. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to defend them a little bit because uh, I, I think their whole uh, culture was one where it was it, transparency was a big deal. But what you say is true from the point of view that as, as profits can always be, I don't want to use the word manipulated, uh, but they can be adjusted and it's never a, a rock solid number all the time that you can hang your hat on. Um, EXP does revenue share. Revenue is the top line number. It's the gross number. Uh, it can't be manipulated. Uh, right. if, if, if the franchise owner has a Mercedes and is writing the lease off, uh, doesn't, it doesn't make a difference with EXP. EXP is one brokerage for the entire world. Um, and and there's, there's no franchisees, there's no master franchises, there's no independent owners out there. It's one corporation, which is public. And certainly their books are being scrutinized by shareholders and uh, yeah, it's a very different, it, it, I don't want to say it took me 10 years to figure it out, but in a way it took 10 years for it to catch up to what my expectations would be for the future of my business. Well, my um, businesses. I, I, you were not, I was a Keller Williams agent for six and a half years in two different offices through two, two different owners. And I'm aware of how that revenue number, that uh, profit number can be manipulated. And the profit share that I received was very, very little after recruiting a number of people being on their ALC, the leadership council. Um, but, for example, what, do you remember what your biggest monthly payout was? I do. It was a little less than 800 bucks. And, um, and that was in a single month, but it, it was, it was minimal um, uh, through the whole thing with, with all the work through both agencies. Keller Williams is a good agency. They, they, they have good uh, teaching programs, but here's the other thing that I've learned uh, coming over to EXP. Everyone in these franchises believes that, um, hey, we're all a team, we're all working together. That's never the case. We're all independent. And yet in the meta, meta world in, in, in this, you can talk to any EXP agent from around the world, and they're going to open up and talk to you because they don't directly compete with you. They're going to provide you information. That's a very, very different business model. Um, it's one of being helpful. Um, and I certainly have appreciated, but it so took you, me. So you've spent some time in the EXP world? I have, but cool. it took it took me almost five years. I had many friends that left other agencies. I'm involved in, as you know, I'm involved in, in um, Greater Boston Association of Realtors, Mass Association of Realtors. I, I don't hold any national offices because that's more than enough locally. And so I know a lot of people who have moved over and I avoided them in the same way I avoided 
all the other people that are trying to recruit you over because they need another body who, who does sales. That's for them. This is for me. I can keep who I am. I can build who I am. And I have groups of people from around the world that I can call on. That's, that's a, it, it yeah, took me five cool. years. Yeah, they, they just added uh, another three countries um, this quarter. Uh, it'll be 22 countries. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. For me, it's very different. I mean, when I was with that franchise, I mean, they, they were national. They were a really big deal in um, like the mid-Atlantic states and stuff like that. And the reason I joined them at the time is they were number... I think number three on the real trends list. And uh, I, I honestly wanted a buyout. I wanted to get into the management and leadership and an executive position with them. And uh, they sent, sent me a franchise salesperson who quite honestly snowed me quite a bit uh, because nothing they ever did, you know, nothing they promised ever lived up to the promise. Uh, and this is quite different. I mean, this is, you know, whereas a franchise is 50 to 100 pages of contract documentation that you need to sign and you're locked in for, I think I was locked in for five years, seven years, something like that. And then when I opened up another office, they wanted to extend it out for another 10 years. So like, Every time I would open an office, it would be another 10 years. That was their business model. EXP, it's very flexible. You know, uh, the Castle's Unlimited brand can bring in agents from anywhere. Right. Uh, someone in Spain wants to be part of our team, part of my uh, downline, so to speak, use me as a sponsor. Uh, I will license them to use the Castle's Unlimited uh, logo on their signage tomorrow. I mean, it's that that fast, you know. So that's going to be confusing to people, you know. Uh, so let's drill down on that uh, a little bit. Um, we're talking about recruiting people from anywhere into the company, and the company is not based in any specific state. It's a national wow. and internet. It's, it's based in based. the cloud, and right. and. Um, but some people believe because it's cloud-based and I was one of them for several years. I like a bricks and mortar. I like to go to an office. Well, not so much during the pandemic, but I like to go to an office where I am interacting with other agents. That's one of the, the joys for me in this business. And I find I can do that in the meta world. Um, uh, I'm not quite comfortable with the avatars yet, but, uh, um, but I can get the information that I need uh, right now. And I don't have to wait for a broker. I don't have to wait for some, somebody is out there ready to, to answer your questions. And it's in real time. You're hearing their real voice like they're hearing my real voice. We're just looking at avatars of ourselves because it's, right. it's easier. You know? right. and, uh, but they do have offices around the world and because they have an agreement with Regis. Um, uh, well, it which, goes beyond that too. There, there, and I don't know how many there are, but uh, the Castle's Unlimited office in Newton, Massachusetts, for example, no reason for me to close it. Um, unbelievable location. And I would expect uh, within the next six to 12 months, it'll probably be about a hundred people on the team and they're going to want that location. Yeah. Um, I have admins. I, I want to see them and work with them. Um, I don't want to just do it over zoom or phone or EXP yeah. world. Uh huh. So the, I, I would say as, as much as the cloud works, uh, it, it goes the other way too. Uh, bricks and mortar works too. We can't rule it out. The, just because of the pandemic, everybody didn't stop yeah. working. Yeah. You know, in, in well, uh, Newton is not, 
in Boston. Newton is another town uh, outside Boston. You also have a Boston office right near Fenway Park. Great right. location in, in uh, Kenmore Square. Uh, right. Universally known because of the Sitco sign. Uh, you're right down the street from it. Uh, I, I enjoy going to that office as well because I do a lot of work downtown still. Um, but now they have the Regis office and that's also in another area of downtown. There's, downtown. A, there's about a dozen Regis offices in Boston. There's right. one in Newton. There's one in Brooklyn. Oh, I haven't been to those. Yeah. There, there isn't one on Cape Cod, as I found out, because I'm uh, hoping to sponsor some agents down there. Uh -huh. So um, they would just have to do something alternatively. So you are a stock guy and you buy and trade stocks you have for a long time, not I, I just this. Um, tell me a little bit about the history of, of uh, EXP stock and what is the, the call letters, if that's what the problem is. EXPI, okay. yeah, they're on NASDAQ. Uh, they went from being a, a penny stock. Uh, I, I think their stock, if you take in a, into account their stock split for two to one, I think their stock went as high as $160. So obviously everyone has, you know, I, I wish I had known, you know, and, and my regret is I didn't buy a million shares at 19 cents <laughs> because, you know, a million shares at 19 cents and then it goes to 160. Um, I would have I've, been, you know, a multi-billionaire. Yeah, that's, that's, learn. That's walking away money, that's, you know, that's if you sure. wanted to. Um, that's for sure. And then uh, they do um, pay a dividend and they're profitable. Yeah. Which uh, yeah. unlike some of the competition, um, they're not profitable. Uh, Realogy, I, I don't believe is profitable. Mm -hmm. I think their, their numbers have improved. Uh, Compass, don't think they're profitable. Uh, I don't know if they're, I, I mean, there's always a number that someone will pull out and say, this is a good yeah. number, but profit is profit. Yeah. EXP is profitable because they have almost no overhead. Right. And their growth is incredible because in their charter, they've, um, they've promised to give out 50% of their revenue to their agents that help grow the company. Think about that. You know, that's, 50 that's a of compelling their, yeah. reason to join this company. Well, so, uh, so, one yeah, of them. I, I just wanted to say, so $800 a month was like the best you, you ever did with KW. And uh, so we've only been doing this, I don't know, three, three months, four months now. Um, I'm in a sort of a, a, a situation where I, I don't get paid yet on my agents because I, I've got two feet in two different worlds. One is EXP world, one's the old world uh, because I have two corporate broker licenses in Massachusetts, yada, yada. But even so, uh, at this point, when all the documentation goes through in the next month, I will have been issued probably over a thousand dollars in EXP stock. So, it's not just one reason to think about this business model. There's, they give you so many reasons. It's, it's sort of, well, that's why I wrote the book. It's like, you know, I had one of my agents that uh, wanted me to give them uh, the, the Reader's Digest version of the reason to join. You know, talk for five minutes and, and let me know everything you know. It turned out to be a hundred plus page book. And I'm not even sure I got into everything because I don't, I don't think I've been with the company long enough to know everything. I just know that I was energized and I was, um, I, I was compelled to write a book. Yeah. In this industry, as a real estate agent, as a realtor, as a broker, um, you need to always, they, they talk about uh, successful businesses have usually more than just one areas of revenue. 
And when you are getting uh, residual revenue, that's a different thing. When you are getting um, revenue from the stock that you can purchase or are given because you're closing deals, uh, that's pretty phenomenal. That's two um, passive incomes that are coming to you before you close any, well, you have to close at least one deal to get to get onto that gravy train. But if no, you're an eight- No, absolutely not. You have to have a license and you have to be a part of their system. But anybody that's part of that system can be issued stock. Okay, this is where I start getting into the-, the After you close model. your deal. After well, you close a deal. Yeah, well, I think no, the, no, I'm I'm right about this. You have to close oh, a deal before no. before you before you do it, and and that's going to be simple for everybody. I mean, well, but I'm 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 going to say you're, you're respectively, respectfully. I, I don't think you're right because they give you stock uh, on your first anniversary. They give you stock when anyone that chooses you as a sponsor sells. Uh, their first deal. And then if you cap, and you know, we're assuming our viewers know what capping means. But w once you cap every year, you get stock then also. Yeah. So those yeah. are the three ways you can get stock. Plus, if you sign up for the program, they'll um, sell you stock up to 5% of your commission at a 10% discount. It used to right. be 20%. It's interesting. There's so much stuff online that's not current, that's not accurate, and no one is monitoring it except me, apparently. Um, so let's talk about it for a moment. What is this show about? Is this just a one-off or is this going to be something? So the goal is that this is something. So EXP agents or agents that are considering EXP but don't have all the answers, or for that matter, you're not even in the business, but you've heard of this company because you have a friend that is making a boatload of money and is saying you really should get a real estate license, but they don't have all their questions answered. So this will be a website with a podcast, which will take questions from anybody every week, answer yeah. them. Yeah. And then every week we're going to have, you know, probably guests, probably people in my downline because I'm going to have some really phenomenal people like yourself, Larry, in my downline. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, it, it already has been a lot of fun. And I want to explain, uh, I had a, a conversation last night with, a, with an agent who called me about uh, EXP. And uh, uh, she's with another brokerage. And um, so she asked, well, you know, what's the big deal? And I said, it's the difference between $527 and $85. Which do you want? And, and she said, I want the 527. Okay, so let's flip it around. What if you had to pay that? Which one do you want? Well, I want the 85. So I have a uh, CRM. I have one of the best websites, uh, companies, KV Core, produced my website, created my website. I have uh, 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 electronic transfers. I have electronic signing. I have a system that keeps track of everything that I'm doing Add on a dashboard. And all, I get all of that for 85 bucks a month. And admission to 3000 plus Regis offices around the world. But the most important thing, and I think this is overlooked, you're getting a business that comes with a unique value proposition for one of the industries that drives the entire economy to the point where, uh, you know, interest rates affect real estate, interest rates, rates uh, affect real estate and whether they go up or down can affect the whole economy, which affects the whole world. That's, that's how important it is. But for 85 bucks a month, you're buying into a business model 
that's now being used by 73,000 plus agents. And a month or two from now, it'll probably be you know, 77,000. And by this time next year, they think it might be 150,000. Right, right. The point is no one else in this industry has this business model. And that's not to say somebody else couldn't do it. Right. But the brand names that we all know, and, you know, there's 20 to 30 of them. And and there's a new brand coming up every, every time you turn around. None of them can duplicate this business model because they are, for the most part, in the franchise business right. model. Well, well, maybe our, our next show, when we do this again, Jim, uh, we should talk about the difference between a franchise model and, and these kind of models. But this yeah, show... It, it, it's like the difference between a speedboat, you know, like a cigarette boat, and, um, and, a, and a carnival cruise liner. <laughs> You know, like, you know, being being part of a franchise, you got a really big boat. Yeah. But it can't turn very quickly. No. And can't stop EXP, quickly. You can't start quickly. And EXP, because of the business model being one owner, one broker, uh, and they have access to the capital markets through through Wall Street. Yeah. Um I, I'd, I'd say it's, an, it's an, an incredible experiment that has actually worked beyond anybody's wildest dreams. Yeah. Hey, could we give people an email address if they have questions for us? Next time. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, if they want to write me, it's jim at castlesunlimited.com. But uh, I do have uh, the exponentialfiles.com. Uh, we'll, we'll have, it'll probably be info at the exponentialfiles.com. Wait a minute. Um, I just got an email about this. So yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to give out uh, the here just a minute. It's right here. No, 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 that's not it. That's not the URL. She, the she, exponential files at gmail.com. Yeah, no, that we're, we're going to have one. Okay. It'll be like info at the exponential. Okay. Files. Well, uh, you're, you're here on it's our very first important. episode. It's not that important, but if anybody wants to buy the book, uh, they can go to yourmilliondollaryear.com. I'll have that up. Uh, first first books will probably be available in about two weeks. That's perfect. Yourmilliondollarmonth.com. Well, and uh, our, um, it's not a promise, but our wish is that, er- if, that everybody who watched the show, even if you don't make, you know, a million dollars, per month passively because you joined EXP, that your income will grow to a point where you say, I'm really happy with the change I made. Because if you think about it, some people would say, you know, $15,000 a month. Yeah. Boy, an extra $15,000 a month that I don't actually have to work for, it's going to pay for like all my bills and yeah. allow me, you know, to, you know, maybe take a take, vacation. Take, well, t- take weekends off even. Yeah. I mean, commercial brokers take weekends off. Lawyers right. take weekends off. Residential yeah. brokers. Now, EXP is also commercial brokers. But uh, most, of, most of these agents, they're working seven days. Yeah. They never take a break. They're working well, evening. That's the problem. You know, you're, you're only as good as what you have in your pipeline. And this gives you another opportunity. I can say for me, my 220... Uh, versus 221, 2021, I was 100% up in this last year. And a lot of that has to do with these systems. I'm not doing anything different. I'm not running more. I'm not working more hours. It's just because everything is connected, it's less stress. It's less hassle. There's fewer bills to pay. So I can focus on my work rather than focus on all the other crap that, that I had to do before you know, three different systems. I used a video system. I used an email set, two email systems. It was just maddening. And when you simplify, it's easier to focus. That's, uh, I mean, that's my personal testimonial uh, on this. And uh, I know that uh, I've been talking to people and everybody's willing to, uh, anybody who is interested can write us, can talk to us, we're, uh, we're available. We're happy to talk to you. 
Any you know, last words for the first yeah, show? I, I, and, I don't, and I think we only touched on it just briefly, but uh, we'll, we'll touch on, um, in, in, in my case, and in, in my downline, the licensing of Castles Unlimited and Castles and even Castles Commercial and that trademark 100% plus where I had a cease and desist against KW and EXP. And, um, you know, sort of like the history behind what is 100% plus in the first place, but a business model that allows an agent to start their own brand in, in like a minute's time. I mean, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. I have all these decades behind the Castles Unlimited brands and trademarks and, and you know, white papers and, and a million other things. So yeah, we'll, we'll get into that also. Yeah. And, and I, because I, I think that's a new paradigm also right. that is only really becoming something because of the business model behind EXP. Right. I mean, I didn't have millions of dollars to franchise it and to promote it. And yet the EXP platform going international, the day you, you write that check for 85 bucks, where can you get that kind of leverage in international of a footprint that big for 85 bucks? And there are agents that say, you oh, know, EXP, I don't want to pay that $85. Oh my God. You know, to, to look at the $85, which is like, you know, like a molecule versus the business model itself, which yeah. is like the whole universe. Yeah. It, it's being very, very short-sighted. That's but why I, this, I'm sorry. That's why I shared the 527. That's what it was costing me a month. And now oh. all of that stuff only cost me 85 bucks. Oh, and I okay. Thought, you know, I, I've, I've, I've saved. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I had no idea what you were talking about. Well, I, I'm talking about all the things that you have to buy to, right. to survive in this business. Uh, the emails and uh, the email programs, the CRM and all of that. That's Some companies. You know, and the difference between 527 and 85 is significant. You know, that's uh, four but grand even if they didn't a give year. You any of that, the fact that this business model allows some people, and it might be you who's watching this and listening right now, the ability to earn over a million dollars a month passively and do that I, with two or three years of effort. I mean, right. we have one person on our team now, 15 months doing this. On this, and he said, "No, no, no, I'm not doing the XP. That's a pyramid scheme, and you know, forget about that." Fifteen months, he's now got over twelve hundred people in his, we'll call it downline, whatever. Uh, he's only brought in uh, fourteen people himself, and all his people went out and got other people. He showed me what he's making. It's over 40,000 a month. That's a half a million dollars a year. That's not bad for yeah. you know, 15 months yeah. worth of work. And plus he's, he, he snowboards like 60 days a year. So it's not like he's working all the time. He's right. Not. Right. See, I always uh, railed against this and I, I want to do this in, in, in the show. Everybody who comes in talks about the absolute best person. And I want to talk about the regular people, what, what's how they're going to benefit from it. And I want to talk about uh, the difficulties I had with setting up my website. It, there was difficulties, but it was, it was mostly on me because I was learning the new system. And you have to do it the right way to have it work correctly. Okay, and well, we'll do a whole episode for- or On that kind of stuff. A, a, a KB Core. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, cool. Well, um, we might have new music uh, the next time, but this is the music I found for- <laughs> That's fine. We'll speed it up next time. Thanks for joining us at uh, the Exponential Files here. We'll see you soon. Next week. Next week, two o'clock on Friday. Ain't bad channel. Yeah. <laughs>